hello guys welcome back to says person and time channel did you ever wanted to create custom settings records inside your Salesforce org and with that uh, to uh, if you had multiple number of custom settings records to be created for example you wanted to create 50 or 100 or 200 custom setting records inside your Salesforce org if yes um, then this is uh, the right video for you uh, since I have seen uh, there are some custom settings where we have hundreds of custom settings records and it becomes very difficult uh, with the standard Salesforce UI to manage those custom settings records. So although you can actually uh, do a data import using um, Salesforce uh, Apex Data Loader or even Salesforce Workbench uh, but sometimes you have to uh, actually you have to get the object name properly uh, because um, both the custom settings and the normal custom objects in Salesforce they have uh, the extension of underscore underscore C which is common and sometimes it becomes very difficult to identify which ones of those are custom objects versus uh, which ones of those are custom settings so uh, i have a very easy way for you uh, to show how you can basically uh, look at all the custom settings inside your org and easily uh, import or even export all the values or records of those custom settings records mm -hmm. so uh, let me just uh, jump into it right away and show you how you can do this so i have created an article also for this so i'll put the link uh, into the video description for this if you wanted to uh, go into the details of the articles and you can follow this article so that way you'll not miss anything uh, what i'm going to talk about this in this in this video so let me show you how, how you can do this um, custom settings uh, actually you can access so first of all let me show you inside your salesforce org um, this is the area where you define uh, custom settings in the setup area so there's a custom settings um, menu and there you can uh, create multiple new custom settings definitions which are custom settings objects definition so for example i have created here uh, two custom settings one is hierarchy custom settings and another is also in hierarchy custom settings which is called order custom settings so you could see the type is uh, hierarchy for both of these and uh, if i wanted to create a new custom settings uh, then salesforce used to give me an option uh, when i click on this new button then it would actually uh, open up this window and where i can enter the label of the new custom setting what is the api name of the custom settings and uh, what is the type of the custom settings so basically custom settings come with uh, two types hierarchy and list custom settings so hierarchy custom settings are the settings which you could assign uh, based on the user id or even profile id um, so to to actual users or the profiles uh, whereas list custom settings are more more uh, normally like um, uh, say post custom object records so they are like more linear records uh, than the hierarchy records um, so the, i think salesforce has stopped um, allowing you creating new list custom settings uh, right now so anytime you try to create a new custom setting it's going to default me to the hierarchy custom settings so it's advising us to use custom metadata instead of uh, list custom settings so if that is the case uh, um, we i also have created a, a custom metadata uh, upload and download uh, the custom metadata loader uh, uh, video for you so if, if you wanted to bulk upload custom metadata records then you could use that video to look for uh, but for now we are going to talk about uh, the upload and download of uh, custom settings records so whether it is a list uh, type or whether it is hierarchy type the procedure is going to be same so if you have uh, old org and you already have some list custom settings there you could still use this custom settings loader for that purpose so let me show you how you can do this uh, let me log into pack magics here so once i log in uh, to my developer org here i'll show you 
how I can first uh, check for all the custom settings uh, list of custom settings I can view so let me go to the custom settings menu here uh, I can also quickly find this by using quick find box which was there in the home page and let me actually so this is uh, what it is going to show me all the custom settings available inside your org so this is good thing uh, versus in data loader um, you would see a mix of custom objects and custom settings so sometimes it becomes difficult to identify which is what but here it's not that difficult because you know all of these are custom settings so I had order custom settings and hierarchy custom settings so I'm going to select the order custom settings for now and once I select it it should display me uh, the value of the, the records of those custom settings so for, for example here I have got two records for these um, uh, for this custom settings uh, whatever I've defined object and uh, I can see two records I can select them I can click on download as CSV button to export um, to a CSV file so that I can open it in Excel um, and uh, I can uh, also if I, if I want to add multiple uh, records I can click on create custom settings records <coughs> so here it's going to um, show me a screen where I can add multiple rows here and then I can type it in the new custom settings records names um, so this is very this is going to be very easy uh, to type it in but I'm not going to try type it in because I'm going to actually show you how we can do this from a CSV file so before I do that let me first uh, show you how I can remove these and so I can upload them upload these records back so I have got um, a division code T1 T0 and uh, the division description as uh, test 1 and test 0 so let me first show you how you can bulk delete these records so that I can again go back and again upload these records back in so let me s delete these selected records first so once I click on that it's going to bring me another screen and it is going to say delete these custom settings records so you want to keep confirmation of deleting all those selected records uh, in earlier screen then you hit this delete records button so which is going to delete all the records in this screen now so let me just delete it's going to say uploading records to to be deleted so once it deletes uh, it's going to show you some confirmation message so this was a batch ID this was the job ID and it was completed successfully you can see records process 2 records failed 0 so that means our job was processed successfully for deletion and if you go back and go back again then you should see no records for this custom setting so we see zero rows now so let me now show you how you can bulk import those records again since I have already downloaded those as CSV file earlier so I have that backup so I can easily um, upload the upload those records back so let me do create custom settings records and here um, I could either add the rows manually or I could import from this uh, CSV file so let me import from CSV file once I click on upload from CSV it's showing me the browse button and I'm going to select uh, the order custom settings records.csv so that was the backup I already had uh, with these field names as a uh, column headers so you could see uh, it has populated the values for me uh, so you, you can see since this is a hierarchy custom settings so so for profiles you got to select the name as this order custom settings in brackets uh, profile and uh, for users you got to select uh, basically you got to enter order custom settings and, uh, and in brackets user I mean this is very easy once you export the existing values you'll come to know and this is going to be the user um, so for example if it's a profile level custom setting record then it's going to be a profile ID if it's a user level custom setting record it's going to be an user ID 
so since i already had it as a backup so i don't have to worry about again checking those but in case of list custom setting you don't have to worry about these two columns here so it will be only those columns which are custom columns and the name of the custom settings record so let me uh, try creating these now so i'm going to click on create records button so which is going to create uh, both of these records in the system for this custom setting so it's showing me order custom settings records to be created so once i hit that it's showed me again a um, batch status uh, so batch status is completed records process 2 which means it is good uh, so records are created i click on back and one more time back to go back to the initial screen where we displayed so now uh, i can see the t0 and t1 records are back into the system which we deleted earlier so now it's uh, so those records are created so you could create actually multiple records not just two uh, from a csv file so which is again a very good thing and if you wanted to update only selected records then you can just click on this and then click on update selected records so which is going to bring me uh, the same screen again and here i can just make some changes if you want to like test 11 and then update records so i change the test 1 to test 11 i hit the update records button again it complete it um, the status is completed and it processed one record since we updated only one record and if i go back and go back again then it should show me the updated values here so test one should be changed to test one one so which is what we get here so which is pretty cool um, uh, so it is going to help me um, import export custom settings records in a bulk uh, on a single screen and then it's going to be very fast yeah so that, that's what i wanted to show you for today if you have any questions comments uh, please let me know in the youtube video comments area and if you like this video please hit the like button there and if you wanted to see some more videos like this just hit the subscribe button thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate your time thanks bye